I used to ask for hot water and, and the waitresses would be like, what? And the moment you realized it, you'd be like, uh-oh, Scottish or Irish. Um, accent holders would say it that way. Hello guys, how have you been these days? In today's video, we'll discuss how to pronounce this word. When I was living in the United States, in New York City, um, I liked the place, I loved the people there. But there was one problem I did struggle with, which was um, the amount of coffee they consume every day. Whenever I want to have breakfast in, in those cafes like Waffle House or IHOP, uh, they didn't really ask what would you like to drink, they would just pour black coffee and refill it all the time. And I do come from the culture where people mostly drink tea rather than coffee. And that was a problem for me, and I used to ask for hot tea, and that they, they couldn't find it in a cafe. That, that was ridiculous, right? There is no tea in a cafe. Um, but, you know, it wasn't a, a cafe like where they sell um, coffees and croissants, but still, it's, it's, a, it's a breakfast uh, cafe. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, I realized that I, I really can't get any tea in those cafes and I decided to, to buy tea bags and put it in my pocket and just ask for hot water whenever I go um, to have breakfast. Um, and that was the time when real problems started. So um, I used to ask for hot water and, and the waitresses would be like, what? And I was like, um, you know, hot water, H2O, but, but, but the, the boiled version of it, uh, water but hot. And at, at some point they get it and then they'd be like, oh, hot water. I was like, yeah, yeah, that one. So far, you've heard two versions of pronouncing um, water, which is British, water, uh, and American version, water. Um, there is um, another similar version, uh, which is American as well. Uh, <clears throat> it sounds uh, similar to water, uh, but after W, you kind of switch between O to R. So it's between O and A, like it goes water, but it doesn't go all the way to, you know, R or O, so it's sort of like in between O and R, water, water. And the first version it was water, but for me it's, it's the same one. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so by the way there is a fun fact about British accent and how the entire world uh, thinks about it and, and how the entire world has the different perception. Um, and I'll explain about that later, but to give you the idea um, is that the entire world is not really informed how Brits talk and they have a different perception of British accent in, in, in the entire world. Beside these two versions of pronouncing water, there is a couple of more. As a matter of fact, this word is one of those ones that has uh, different pronunciations in different accents. Uh, same with the words like um, Shutter, butter, beta, letter, uh, words that basically have double T's. There's five different ways to pronounce this word. So in English accents such as um, Cockney or Mancunian or Estuary accents, it would be water. So instead of uh, that T letter, uh, they, they replace it with a glottal stop. So let me explain what glottal stop is. Let's say you're looking for your friend's room and you um, open the door and by mistake you, you realize that, that that's not your friend's house and, and you see people there and, and the moment you realized it, you'd be like, uh-oh. So that sound is a glottal stop, uh-oh. So every T is replaced by a glottal stop. So instead of bottle of water, it would be bottle of water. Hey mate, can I get a bottle of water please? In Australian accent, it would be water, which is very similar to the word order, but it's not really the same word. It's water, water, order, water. Last but not least is um, water, which is, I'd say, um, Scottish or Irish um, accent holders would say it that way, water. Can I have a glass of water? How would you say this word? Or you can pick one of these pronunciations we practice today and um, keep practicing. Yeah, cheers.